Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows you how you can create tables to put into EPUBs, tables which have a fixed left column. I have got one showing here on screen and it's sliding left and right and you can see how it works. The months of the year are down the left column and the years are across the top as headers. And no matter how you can configure your screen, it always works. If you've got it on a telephone, it works. If you use it landscape or portrait or change the size of the font, it always works. And it, it's pretty nice. You don't use it all the time. It's a bit laborious. I will show you how to make one. Perhaps you've seen this on a spreadsheet. If you go to a spreadsheet, it's really easy to do. I've got a spreadsheet here with column headers and down the first column I've got the names of the rows and all you have to do on a spreadsheet is go to view and split window and then when you go down you won't lose sight of the top column headers and if you go to the right you won't lose your column well this is very difficult to do in an EPUB and you would not be doing it very often. I have the editor open and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now this over here is the instruction set and you can see how very 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 long this is. Well after you get to the top you can appreciate that you won't be doing this very often but if you do it I advise that you copy it and the way you do that is to hold down your shift key and then just go down to the end and hit control C and then you can reuse it over and over and over again and then perhaps modify it a little bit control C now I've got it copied it's in the memory now I am going to open up my snippets and I have a prior video that shows how you can open up your snippets real quick. I'm going to add a new swip snippet and I'm going to call this one test and the trigger is going to be test and then I'm going to just paste what I copied and that's it. That's the whole nine yards of it and when I hit OK I've now got a snippet called test and it's easy enough to use. Uh, I will go down right here uh, to this point and I'll type in the word test T E S T and then control J is the trigger takes a second boom there it is I've got it in there twice let me move up a little bit so you can see the prior one well if you don't want it if you change your mind control Z you've got the word test get rid of the word test I'm back to square one I'm going to go through it now and show you how everything works, not in 100% detail, but some detail. Let's go to the top and we will go through it. First of all, it's the comments. You might be interested in, in that. There is a, a method built into the editor that shows you how you can quickly make comments that do not show. And if you'll notice, it goes angle exclamation dash dash and then at the end it has got dash dash angle it's easy to do type in the word comment or something something and when you type in a word guess what it shows up and it'll get printed but you don't want to print it you just want to comment so highlight it and then go up here smart comment boom tap it it will not print but it will stay here forever seeing as how I can't remember anything I do I gave myself an instruction and an orientation regarding what's going on the first thing is it's an NB no break no break is a division the reason it is a division is because I have it in the cascading style sheet as a dot in B. If I had put it in 
without the dot you don't need division. Let's go over there. They are in alphabetical order and I just got to find NB. There it is. Page break before always. This will always start at the top of a page. Now let's go back. The next thing down is it is a frame. And I highlighted it and it turned gray. And automatically caliber turns gray the end. The next thing, oh, I said that the margin was 0, 0, 0, 0. The margin at the top is 0, right, bottom, left. And it, that goes like a clock. Normally, I have space after, like here. But here, I wanted them up against each other. So I turned it into 0. Now, inside the frame, I've got a table. And inside the table, I got table body. Then I got table row. Inside the very first table row, I've got a table header, year. Everything else is table data. At the top, I put table header. OK, we go down now to the next frame, the bigger one with a slider. And I start off calling it frame half width. Then I've got the instruction for the overflow slider. Then table, table body, table row. And then across the top, I've got all of the TH headers of the years. After that first top row headers, I've got table row, table data. And then all the way down. Uh, until it ends and that's it it's over with when you go to the bottom there are the matching slash ending divisions so I've got slash table row slash table body slash table slash division slash frame half width and then the no break was slash division. And I want to point out here that the data ex, uh, expands with the widest thing. So it works out really nice. Now, you'll notice that the table has got little boxes around everything. You control that in the cascading style sheet. And instead of erasing, I'm in the habit of misspelling things. And when they're misspelled, or when the space is in between them to misspell them, they don't get activated. Now, I've got border, collapse, collapse. If I get rid of that, I now have a box around a box of everything. But instead, now I've just got one box. Uh, I want to uh, reduce the size of some of those lines and it's tricky I just leave it all in there uh, the rows I hear I have three let's try zero yeah it got smaller down here let's do zero no it didn't do anything it's beyond the, the, the normal realm of human intelligence to figure this stuff out unless you're very, very clever. I just want to get rid of all of the lines if I can. There it is, I think. Getting smaller. And that's it. My name is Pop, and I've got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics, and I'm making a series right now about Caliber EPUBs, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.